I'll go off key. I've practiced all morning with no breakfast. I need a break. Let me conduct you to fruit flavor then. Follow my nose. Music to my ear. It's always nose. Kellogg's Fruit Loop Cereal. With natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavors. And lots of vitamin C, part of this complete breakfast. The flavor's harmonious. Fruit flavor's the key. I'll make a note of it. Oh, dear. Sweet Secrets, putting on makeup, fun to do, here's makeup you can play with too. Blue Sweet Secrets, eyeshadow, blush, gloss, and lipstick, all sold separately from Galoo. This is the Micro Machine Man, presenting the most midget miniature motorcade of Micro Machine. Plus incredible Micro Machine pocket play sets. Each one comes with its own special edition Micro Machine vehicle and fun fantastic features in this Micro Machine service center and many more. And these play sets fit together to form a perfectly precise Micro Machine world. You'll want to pocket them all. Micro Machine pocket play sets sold separately from... The TV title will be decided when Sting faces the Great Muda. You'll see the fabulous Freebirds taking on the Midnight Express. Learning when to say no. Hey, no. I'll let you go this time. You promise not to shoot anyone else. Go find yourself somebody. Then I learned they pay him. Sure helps. Get the whole story. No matter. So, will you take an early appointment? You get to spend an evening with me. give you strict instructions about crossing the street only because Faz, real makeup and wow now colors to didn't mean to let you down I understand night looking to meet new friends to talk with call selective and gives you the education and hands on put it on a real Wheaties box it's the one for you get in carefree pool and get five big go just one word now with their parents through the ultimate. With pilot, desert fox, with driver, warthog, with... Lots of doctors here. It's neat. Can I come... No man could reach. But one boy knew there was... He's what? Hey, we don't wait for ketchup. You don't? You get three X's or O's on your spoon, you win. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. Tick, 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 tack, toes. With and without meatballs. <laughs> Everything all right in here? Yes,
tickle your funny bone, Fuzzy the Clown! Hey, thank you! Have I got a great joke for you! Why did the elephant sit on his trainer? Give up? Because he didn't see him! Oh, that one flattens me! Waka waka waka! Hey! Here I am! Come to Willie the Flying Blue Cannonball! Shush! You're not on yet! And now, ladies and gentlemen, I, Kermit the Fearless, will enter the Lion's Cage! <laughs> Um, jump to the hoop. Jump! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The lion's escape. Run for it! Wait for me! Am I on now? Hoop! Oh. Wow! <laughs> 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 Gee, uh, I guess that's it for the circus game. Boy, we better clean up this mess. Camilla? Camilla? <sighs> Listen, Camilla. <gasps> oh, I guess not. Kermit? Yeah, Gonzo. Have you seen my baby chicken, Camilla? Uh, gee, I, I don't think so, Gonzo. Piggy, oh. have you seen Camilla? Nope. Oh. Ha hasn't anyone seen my Camilla? Hi, kids. Hi, Hi Nanny. Nanny. Lunch will be ready in a little bit. I hope you all like chicken salad. <gasps> Did you hear that? Chicken salad? Nanny made Camilla into lunch. Silly Gonzo, Camilla is a stuffed chicken. So, maybe she's making stuffed chicken salad. What's the matter, Gonzo? I, I can't find my baby chicken, Camilla. Well, just keep looking. I'm sure she's somewhere. But I already looked there, Nanny. Don't worry, Gonzo. We'll help you find Camilla. Yeah, and I know just how to do it. We'll make a computer drawing of her just like the police do. Uh, come on. Okay, Gonzo, describe Camilla for me. Camilla? Oh, that's easy. She's tall, blonde hair, blue eyes. Camilla's fatter and uglier with a thing on her head. Mm-hmm, that's her. No way! That's not a chicken. Any great comedian knows what a chicken looks like. It's got feathers and a beak and crosses the road to get to the other side. That's her, Camilla. I'll print out a copy. So, now that we've got a drawing of Camilla, how do we find her? Leave that to me. Inspector Gonzo of the CIA. What's that? The Chicken Investigation Agency. When did you last see this chick? Well, uh, yesterday. What was she wearing? Feathers. Oh, thanks. Say, do you know what happened to my chicken? Don't try to put anything over on me. I've got a nose for clothes. Hey, that's great. I've got an ear for music. We ought to play sometime. What do you know about this chicken? <laughs> this girl! Oh, brother! Hey, I'll help you look for Camilla Gonzo. No, thanks. You probably took her and are trying to cover up. Huh? As far as I'm concerned, you're all suspects. Come on, Gonzo. Who are your friends? A detective can't afford to trust anybody. Even Piggy could be the crook. <gasps> what? Kermit, are you going to let this salami-beaked weirdo talk to Ma like that? 
What? Oh, um, no, of course not. Come on, Gonzo. You're getting everybody upset. Now apologize to Piggy. Okay. Gee, I'm sorry, Piggy. I didn't mean to call you a crook. Please forgive me for ever doubting you. What are you doing? Me? Oh, oh, just taking little prints of your beautiful fingertips. Why are you? No, wait, no, oh, wait, oh, please, Piggy, don't take the... Please be gentle with me. Lesson number one. Never fingerprint a pig who knows karate. I think Gonzo's in one of his weird moods. Seems pretty normal to me. Well, let's go play with our toys till his mind comes back from outer space. Hey, who turned out the lights? Oh, it's Gonzo. He's still playing detective. Let's just ignore him. That won't be hard. I've been ignoring Gonzo since I met him. All right, Fuzzy. What did you do with her? Do with who? What's the matter? Lost your memory? Gee, I don't remember losing my memory. Maybe that's because I lost it. No, if I lost my memory, I would have looked for it. Unless I forgot I lost it. Oh, no. I can't remember anything. Isn't it true that you took Camilla because you ran out of chicken jokes? Gee, maybe I did take her. And maybe I'm a criminal and I don't even know it. I didn't mean it. Don't send me to jail. I'll confess. I'll confess. I knew I was a great comedian, but I had to go to a big city to prove it to the world. My only problem? I needed a rubber chicken. Every good comedian has one. But all I could find was a stuffed one. Oh, well. It would have to do. And so, I left all my good buddies and went to the big city, determined to become funny and famous. and should be considered dangerous. Uh oh It's the egg team! Quick! We gotta get out of here! Oh, no, Camilla! We're caught! Egg in! What? This way! Ever heard of the Captain Kangaroo Rooster show? Are you kidding? Captain Kangaroo Rooster tells the best chicken jokes in the whole world. He's my favorite. The captain's sick today, Bacak, and uh, we don't have anyone to replace him. Bacak, I was wondering if maybe you could. I can't believe it. I'm going to host the Captain Kangaroo Rooster show. Uh, actually, I was thinking of your uh, chicken. And now, boys and girls, substituting for Captain Hey, I'm a better comedian than her. If you think that's funny, wait till you hear this joke. What time do chickens go to sleep? Give up? Seven o'clock. Get it? Clock. Clock, clock, clock. Watch it. Hey, I didn't mean to offend you. Ouch. Cut it out. Uh, um, uh, what, what did the bear say to the chicken? G give up? Uh, 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 grab your egg and let's beat it. Now <laughs> under arrest. Drop your jokes and come out with your hands up. I surrender. I surrender. <laughs> I promise I'll never steal another chicken again. Uh, are you kidding? Uh, you aren't in here for chicken napping. You're going 50 
50 years ah, telling bad jokes. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, no. Commit! Please, let me out. I don't want to be in jail. Uh, you're not in jail, Fuzzy. I'm not? No, and you obviously didn't take Camilla either. How do you know? Because you're not the criminal type. Gee, what type am I? The airhead type. Why didn't I think of that? If Fozzie didn't steal Camilla, he must be covering up for someone who did. Like his best buddy, Kermit. Gonzo, it's me, Kermit. I'm your best buddy, too, you know. Y you are? Uh-huh. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Kermit. I didn't mean to accuse you. Ever since Camilla disappeared, I, I haven't been myself. Maybe nobody took her. Mm-hmm, maybe she ran away. Gee, Gonzo, it must be awful losing something you really love. We know how you feel, Gonzo. Ah, uh, you don't know how I feel. You want to know how I feel? I'll tell you. Hit it, Ralph. You just don't know what it's like when the bottom drops out of your life. When your reason to be disappears suddenly and your melody loses its song. Well, 
Here it is, Double O, your new spy vehicle. A laser-powered, computerized, five-speed turbo trike. It has every extra a super spy could need. Be sure we'll demonstrate. It has stereo headphones, so you can listen to music while chasing spies. There is also an ejection seat. That's great! What are all these buttons? This one's for jumping to light speed, and this one activates the infrared chicken detector. There's one more thing I think I should tell you. Whatever you do, don't press this button. Why not? I don't know. You're imagining this story, not me. Thanks, Professor. Wish me luck. Good luck. I don't need it. After flying my turbo trike around the world, I arrived in Tokyo, Japan. My infrared chicken detector picked up the trail. Important. What is important? 
excitement is finding my... Camilla! Yeah, what was she doing in your clothes drawer? Double O Gonzo. Ah, uh, oh yeah, I remember. I put it there so I wouldn't uh, lose her. I think you left your brains in the drawer too, Gonzo. Don't you think you owe us an apology? For what? For accusing us of stealing your chicken. Yeah, you were the bad guy all along, Gonzo. That's it. If you guys want the spies who stole my baby chick, that leaves only one possible person. Me. Oh, no. I must be a double agent. I got you, you no good spy. You never take me alive. Oh, don't worry about Gonzo. He'll be okay by next week. I hope. My Muppet Babies are back again Saturday morning at 6. But don't go away, Theodore Tugboat and Madeline are next on the Disney Channel. My European studying hairspray. The ultra fine mist sprays on evenly for super hold that won't let your styles go. New Alberto European hairspray with ultra fine mist for new super hold. Eddie, this is Mrs. Butterworth. Hello, Eddie. I love your syrup. I need two syrups, regular and light. Mrs. Butterworth. And they're both delicious because because they're thick and rich and buttery. She really talks better than you. Mrs. Butterworth's is twice as thick as maple syrup, so it pours slower. And it's made with grade A butter. Mrs. Butterworth's. Regular and light. <laughs> Domino's Pizza delivers quality. <laughs> it takes fresh baked quality to avoid the noid. <laughs> We keep the Noid out and all the quality in, so avoid the Noid. Call Domino's Pizza now for hot quality pizza. Domino's Pizza delivers. Why don't you ask Heathcliff to help you look? That cat can find things better than a bloodhound. Well, I know he's good at finding trouble. Don't you remember when he found that egg last Easter? Let's see. It was Easter morning, and Heathcliff had gone to the store to buy some colored Easter eggs. Hey, you! 
But what Heathcliff didn't know was a couple of thieves were hard at work. Stop those thieves! They just stole the Tanzanian golden egg! <laughs> I'd better hide these eggs before the alley cats see them, or else they might get broken. Ow! Ow! Uh, uh, we didn't mean to hit you like that. Uh, I... <laughs> Come on, dummy! <laughs> hey, Scala! What are you reading? Huge reward offered! Time for vacation! So long, suckers! Now I'll hide these Easter eggs for the family. Last year it was Christmas before they found them. You're so talented, Eclipse. Bet I find the most eggs. Ouch! I bet I find the most eggs. I hid those eggs so well, no one will ever find them, especially that shiny gold one. Uh, Harry, let me hold it, huh? Let me hold it. You'll just drop it like you did last time. Uh, no, I won't. No, I won't. We interrupt this program to relay a significant bulletin of community interest. The what he say? Just listen up, dummy. The world-famous golden egg has been stolen from the Westminster Museum. The egg is valued at one million dollars. <laughs> oh! How come the golden egg's got a yolk inside? That's not a golden egg, it's a real egg! You took the wrong egg, you dummy! Uh, didn't we bump into a cat who had some eggs? Yeah, you're right! For once! Now, to find that cat! to watch them work. Pink! My favorite color! Hey! I saw it first! Whoa! <laughs> Spike, come teach this cat a thing or two! Uh, you seen a, a gold egg around here? Yeah, a, a couple of these thieves stole an egg into our nest. Uh, right, Harry? Uh, I mean, poor. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, look, Mac, you ain't seen them, have you? They've got to be kidding. Huh? You got Muggsy's Easter eggs. No, but I'm ready to scramble you. <laughs> that golden egg could be hidden anywhere. We got to find it first. Good move, Newton. <laughs> That's not in the rules, Lefty. Hey, what's the big guy? Pops, what are you doing here? Heard a couple thieves stole a golden egg. Busted out for the afternoon to see if I could find it and get the reward. I bet those chickens are the thieves trying to get it back. Hey, I found the last egg! It's the shiny gold one. <laughs> you are a good son! <laughs> oh! The Harry, I got a headache. But I got an idea. How do you keep thinking of all these good ideas, huh, Harry? Huh? Quiet, Lime Brain. Here he comes. Ouch! Me 
well for me. Thanks. Ouch! Yikes! So that's why the chicken crossed the road! Ah! Hey, he got the egg! I need a shortcut. I got it. Let's get out of here. Come back, you jam blades. Ouch! Not again. Yeah. It, huh? Let me work it. Quiet, you fool. I haven't seen a show this good since the circus came to town. I'll get... Son, you gotta know the ropes! Huh? <laughs> 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 Watch out for pigeons. The, I didn't know you was a cowboy. Huh? Here, hold this. Yikes! Oh. Harry! Ouch! Right there. We'll take that egg. Nothing's worse than a hardened criminal. Eh, who wants a dumb old million dollars anyway? That's okay, Heathcliff. Come on home. I'll fix you a nice Easter breakfast. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs? So, that's how Heathcliff found the golden egg that Easter. So maybe you could ask him about your hat. I'm sure he'll be able to find it for you. Say, Heathcliff, could you help me find my... So that's where my hat has been. McMungo. Yeah, I am sorry I have not written in a long time. It is a beautiful morning in the junkyard. For the boss's breakfast, I am making your recipe. McMungo carp and potatoes. Hector thinks he can take over my junkyard, does he? I'll show him. I'll show them all. Where's Mungo? Yeah, the coming, but... Yeah, I must serve Riff Raff breakfast in bed. He has barricaded himself in his house, and I must use the password. What's the password? Yeah, hey, boss, uh, I forgot. Close enough. Test the food for poison. Yeah, understated yet elegant, boss. Slide it through the mail slot. <laughs> yeah, 
here. Will there be anything else? Yeah, back up. And keep an eye on that traitor, Hector. Huh? Because the cabin was bare, the rest of us had to settle for a salami wrapper soup. The soup is fine and not to worry. My art doth call and I must hurry. Yeah, maybe I can find a card card for lunch. Huh? Relax, Mungo. I'll do the scrounging today. It is not like Hector to volunteer to hunt for food or anything. And so I told the boss. And he advised me to follow Hector in the skies. Where's Riff Raff? Oh, don't worry. He's holed up in his pad. Look, Hector, a fire across the street. My surveillance was interrupted. What a rip, Otto! Whoa! Yeah, I just couldn't tell Riff Raff about Hector and Cleo's secret meeting. So I busied myself with my chores. Nothing is safe at the junkyard since Wordsworth has been getting ready for his big art exhibit. Yeah, the show is tonight and I hope I'll still have a bed to sleep in when he's done. You look just like Riff Raff. I cannot tell a lie. I look marvelous. I'm worried about Riff Raff. Ah, he'll get over it. It broke my heart when I saw Hector playing fast and Cleo helping him. I might need a place to hide out for the rest of my life, Granny. Huh? Ooh. I fear Riff Raff will go bananas when he hears about Hector. Yeah, Wordsworth is at it again. Soon there will be no junk left to clean. Painted bright and painted right. Gotta win the show tonight. Doing the laundry calms me, so that is what I did next, Granny. Riff Raff to Mungo, report to HQ, on the double! The coming, boss! <sighs> What's the password? Uh, uh, I forgot, boss. Whoa! Yeah, uh, please excuse me for fibbing, Granny. I remember the password, but just couldn't break the boss's heart. <laughs> yeah, Wordsworth was pretty angry about the portrait of Riff Raff. Yeah. Oh, artists can be awfully temperamental, Granny. Yeah, I was afraid of what I might see, Granny. And I was right. There at the music store. Riff Raff seems so upset. Well, you forget that. Tonight's the big night. Enough is enough. But fate stepped in. Once again, I failed my beloved boss. Yeah, yeah. I was glad for this distraction, Granny. How could I tell Riff Raff yeah. of Hector's treachery? Thank you, sir. Next time, I'll wear more stamps. <laughs> yeah, I had to hurry back to the junkyard. We all promised to go to Wordsworth's art show. I couldn't believe my eyes. There was that traitor, Hector. 
changing the oil on the caddy like nothing was wrong. Huh? Just what I needed for my final sculpt. Huh? My mattress masterpiece! Yikes, I'm gone! Uh -huh. Hey, what's the beef? Riff Raff never looked better. <laughs> Besides, you got another portrait on Mongo's back. Oh! While I try to break up the fight, who shows up but Cleo pretending to care about Riff Raff? I brought some soup for poor Riff Raff. Huh? Huh? Test it, Mungo. It's probably poison. Nope, it was delicious. Thanks, Mungo. Way to go. Poison? I bring you soup and you think it's poison? Talk is cheap, Cleo. One step closer and you'll be sorry. How could you ruin my object to art? If we're going to the show, we better start. Cleo, guys, boss! This is Wordsworth's big night. Let's try to get along. Somehow, I got them to stop fighting, and we got to the gallery just in time. I could have been a contender instead of just a pretender. Cleo, you got the suitcase? Suitcase? <laughs> You've been asking for this for a long time, Riff Raff. Oh. No, boss, they're not worth it. Oh, Riff Raff, you big dope. Here, today's boss's day, Riff Raff. And since you are the boss... I love happy endings. For your attention, the first prize for Artwork in Motion, Wordsworth's painting of Riff Raff has transferred to Mungo's back. I couldn't have done it. It's Mungo that won it. Oh. <laughs> you. It was a day to remember. So you see, Granny, it's a full life I lead. I am vital to the organization and cannot visit you now. Your loving grandson. Mango. Time for dinner, Filbert. Chow time, Filbert. It may look like Filbert has it made, but he's overfed, and that's dangerous. If there's a goldfish in your house, make sure one person is responsible for feeding it. It only takes a pinch of food a day.
A doo a doo well, the boy genius. You trying to find out why Kentucky Fried Chicken is America's favorite chicken? Then pay attention, son. Folks just love going to the Colonel's because no one else makes chicken with that special blend of 11 herbs and spices. Any of this getting through to you, son? And of course, no one else's chicken is finger-licking good because nobody else knows the Colonel's secret formula. The secret formula! Kid's too smart for his own good. Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do chicken fried. Hi, Rich Hall here. Party crashing. Yeah. I see you guys are having fun with these new Flintstone kids' glasses you can get at Pizza Hut for 49 cents each. I really love that Freddy glass, Ryan. Dabba dabba do! What do you think, Renee? Pretty bedrock, huh? No, real bedrock. What's your favorite glass, Patrick? Wilma! Pizza Hut has a different glass every week, so it's 49 cents each. Mom and Dad, you could collect all four for your kids. Any comments? Yeah. Presenting the one, the only, the original, Ernest P. Worrell in his first motion picture. Uh, Ernest Goes to Camp, rated PG. Know what I mean? Starts Friday, May 22nd at a theater near you. Check news. Oh, now, don't you fret, princess. Just two more diamonds to set. <laughs> and we can return Queen Angela's crown to the safety of Whispering Woods. Keep a sharp eye open for trouble. You bet. Hordak would love to get his hands on the crystal crown. Ready? Don't you ladies worry. With Bo around, both you and the crown are perfectly safe. Hmm. Next you'll be telling us you've freed the kingdom of Bright Moon single-handedly. Cow! <laughs> Now that isn't true, is it, Bo? Well, She-Ra did help a, a little. Even She-Ra won't save you this time, Rebels. <laughs> Freeze them! <laughs> Get that crown! <laughs> no! Stay back! <laughs> Ruffians! A lesson in good manners will slow you down. the crown. Time to teach those troopers some appreciation for fine art. Oh, wait, Leech, do something! You bunglers! <laughs> These rebels will never stop the Lord. <laughs> Help. For the honor of Greyskull! Princess Hordak will enjoy adding this to his collection. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that, Leech. Shira! No, no, no! You boys are gonna have to do better than that. Shira, I knew you'd show up to help us. You always do. Bo, get the crown. I'll take that, Leech. I will give you something you won't forget. A little present from my friend, Entraptor. <laughs> you will find it very attractive. <laughs> A force cage? No, it's a magnetic field. Stop them all if I can just get that device. Shira, watch out! Gotcha! <laughs> Thanks. 
Nothing's too good for the great hero of Frightening. We chased him off, didn't we? Glimmer! Adora! Huh? What happened? It's all right, Glimmer. We had a real problem on our hands, but She-Ra saved us. You should have seen it, Adora. The crown! It's gone! Cheer up, Glimmer. We'll get the crystal crown back, somehow. It's just what that crown stands for. The freedom of our people, and now Hordex got it! <sighs> are we just going to let Hordex get away with this? Uh, you bet we are. Uh, well, Hordak has tanks, soldiers. Uh, we're quite outmatched, I'm afraid. Hmm. I think Pika Blue's got a point, Cowl. If we can find Leech before he gets back to the Fright Zone, we can get that crown back. Count me in. <laughs> well, now you listen to me. That crown is not important enough to risk your lives. But, Cowl, there's really no risk at all. We have She-Ra, the most powerful woman in the universe, on our side. He's right. If we get into trouble... She-Ra will save us. What do you say, Glimmer? Are you with us? For the honor of Bright Moon. Let's go! Uh, uh, no, wait, stop! Don't go! This is madness! Don't worry, Cowl. We'll be back in no time, and with the crown. Oh, I've got to tell Adora. Adora! Uh, they'll, they'll all be captured, taken to Beast Island. Cowl, calm down and tell me, what's happened? Bo's taken a group of rebels to steal back the crown. What? Oh, no! Oh, my! Oh, dearie, my! <laughs> They're convinced that she will come save them no matter what happens. Well, sounds like they're getting very dependent on She-Ra. Oh, I'd better get going. And let She-Ra save them? Oh, no, child. If you go, they'll never learn to take care of themselves. But I can't let them charge off into danger, either. Oh, Madam Raz, what can I do? Well, if She-Ra saves them, they'll always be looking for the Princess of Power to pull them out of trouble. Bye. Adora could go along. Yes, just to keep them on the right track. They must learn never to depend on someone else to save them, but to rely on themselves. Exactly. Yes. So, my little plan survived even your bungling, eh, Leech? No, not a very good plan in threat. Not a single prisoner to show for it. But uh, I brought back the crown. Yes, but you were expected to catch the rebels as well. I wouldn't be so quick to purr over his mistakes, Catra. When in your hands, you hold the key to destroying the entire rebellion. That crown would be our bait to catch the turncoat to Dora, or perhaps even Shira. Adora, you won't change my mind. We're going to get that crown. The Horde causes us enough problems without looking for trouble, Bo. But we have to fight back. Oh, fighting is hardly ever the right way to handle a problem, Glimmer. The crown can be replaced, but you can't. The rebellion needs all of you. Look, Shira's never let us down yet when. Shh! I see something just ahead. Look out! It's Claudine! Somebody! Cage mines. Well, Bo, look at what a mess you've gotten us into. Whoa! Now what? Time for Shira? <laughs> then they'll never learn to depend on themselves. <laughs> Get captured? What's the right?
right thing to do. Shira, where are you? Well, this is it. I'm going to help them, but not in a way they expect. Are we lucky you found us? It wasn't luck that brought me. It was concern for some very special friends. The whole rebellion looks up to you two. But you're not using your abilities if you lead others into danger and then wait for someone else to help you. Not when you can handle a problem like this on your own. You must believe in yourselves. Farewell, dear friends. I don't believe it. She's gone. <laughs> Shira's right, Bo. Maybe we can handle this one ourselves. I don't think we have any choice. Let's go. It's time to shed some light on this problem. <laughs> Listen, I hate to admit it, but I was wrong. No treasure is worth endangering the lives of our friends. So let's find Pika Blue and get out of here before it's too late. Look out! Here comes trouble! Pika Blue! Wow. Say goodbye to your friends, Rebel. Now I have you and the Crystal Crown. Why, you? If you want your friend, come and get her! This is all my fault. I've got to get Pika Blue out of there, but I won't place the rest of you in danger. You mean we've got to get Pika Blue out together? We're a team, remember? And now we have something worth fighting for. We'll show Shira we can do this on our own. All we have to do is believe in ourselves. It's time to arm our trap. Step aside, Leech. <laughs> They'll never come here, Catra. Oh, we shall see, my sweet. Oh, it would be a shame if they miss seeing this lovely flower. This is a sleeping violet. Its perfume is guaranteed to give you a good night's sleep. Oh, don't be sad, pretty one. After your friends join you for a nap, you'll all wake up as our guest. Oh, in the Fright Zone Dungeon. <laughs> Pika Blue must be in there. How are we going to get inside? Supply detail. You can start with these. How are we going to get past those guards? I have an idea. Things weigh a ton. I wonder what's inside. Well, why don't we open them up and find out? Better not. Mordek wouldn't like that. 
Oof. Now that was a close call. Not a bad start for a rescue. <laughs> yes, we're inside. But now what do we do, great hero? Just follow me. For a change, I think I've got this worked out. Ah! Those soft-hearted rebels are late. Ah, I didn't think they'd miss a chance to save their little friend. Peekaboo! We've got to get her loose. We need a distraction. One distraction coming up. Hello, Katra. I think it's time we had a talk. <coughs> What's this? <coughs> First Captain, Adora. Oh, come to give yourself up. That's X-Force, Captain Katra. And I've come to take back what you've stolen. The crown and peekaboo. <coughs> I'd rather think I'll add you to my collection. <coughs> Glimmer, now! <coughs> what, what, what are you doing? <coughs> now for peekaboo. Rebels. this cat's nest. Controls for the trap should be... over there. Shira, you're back. I'm always ready to help someone who's tried to help themselves. You just stand there. Freeze her, you fools. <laughs> Powder will do the trick. I'll have you out of here in no time. I. Peekaboo. Glimmer. Why, <laughs> I found a way out. Hurry! Perfume. Cowl, fresh air. Here's our way out. There. Please, Shira, wake up. Don't 
you worry, she's in good hands. The real credit goes to Shira. She really taught us something important. Yeah. I don't expect somebody else to get you out of trouble. Trouble you put yourself into. The way we did, eh, Glimmer? I think that you've learned to trust your own abilities and limits, right, Bo? You're right. But no matter how confident I feel, I'm sure glad she was around, just in case. Supply of vitamin C. So cool, it's cool enough for me. driver's license. Yes, ma'am. What's this world coming to, Bond, when the police department starts hiring lady cops? Well, women are into everything nowadays, Fred. Nothing sacred anymore. Yeah, well, I'm just thankful Wilma and Betty enjoy being housewives. Yeah, amen to that, Fred. Can you keep a secret, Betty? <laughs> Wilma, you know I don't gossip. 
She doesn't gossip. That'll be the day. I'm looking for a job. Wilma, you're kidding. Have you told Fred yet? Oh, heavens no. Fred still thinks a woman's place is in the home. Barney's more liberal. He thinks a woman's place is in the kitchen. <laughs> Uh, two pounds, that'll be 120 clams, Mrs. Flintstone. Imagine 120 clams for a two-pound melon. Inflation is getting ridiculous. Yeah, it's a crime. You're right, lady, this is a crime. Here, stick them up, everybody. Oh, it's a hold-up. Right again, lady. Put the swag in the bag, buster. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> That's my money. I just gave it to him. Now we got it. <laughs> Some nerve. Ooh, now I'm mad. <laughs> at a local supermarket where Bedwalk housewife Wilma Flintstone today KO'd two escaping bandits with a perfectly aimed melon. Mrs. Flintstone, can you tell us how you did this? <laughs> uh, gee, I I'm really not sure. I can you give us a demonstration? Oh, I couldn't do it again. Try to hit that stop sign on the corner with this melon. It's about 100 feet from here. Well, okay. <laughs> That's truly amazing, Mrs. Flintstone. Where did you learn that? Well, I really don't know. Oh, my. I didn't realize it was so late. Come on, Betty. We better get going. I can hear Fred now. Wilma, I'm home. What's for dinner? Wilma, I'm home. What's for dinner? Dinosaur omelet, Fred. Be ready in a minute. <laughs> And remember, no lump. And remember, no lump. No respect. No respect. <laughs> Wilma, you'll never guess what happened to me this afternoon. This cop stops me, and I thought it was my friend Alex, see? Only it turns out to be... No, 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 no. Dino, no, no, no. D down with you. No, Dino. Wilma! <laughs> Dino, stop! Oh, what was the attendance of our last game, Tommy? 210. 208 were Boy Scouts who got in free. The other two were uh, your mother and my mother. They paid. Uh, we'd better come up with something or we're in big trouble. And here's a wee play of that amazing draw. What an aim! Hey! She's pretty good! And lucky. It would be a good idea for the cellar-dwelling Dodgers to hire Wind Up Wilma as a pitcher. Uh, who needs a lady, lady pitcher? pitcher? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Tommy? Yeah! We'd have the only woman pitching in the major leagues! There'd be standing room only in every game. Let's go see this wind-up Wilma. I hope she's not ugly. Gee, baseball players are weird. Oh, this is the way we clean our rugs, clean our rugs, clean our rugs. Ah, good. She's home. Ring the bell. Coming. Stay here, Pebbles. <laughs> Mrs. Flintstone, I'm Charlie Finrock, owner of the Bedrock Dodgers. And I'm Tommy Lachelle, the manager. And we want to speak with you. Stop it, Dino, or no supper. <gasps> Come in, gentlemen. Uh, thanks, ma'am. Now, what can I do for you? Well, uh, we saw how you begged those crooks on TV. Oh, that was just an accident. I couldn't believe it when I hit that sign. Oh, no, don't kid us. We're ready to offer you a tryout as a relief pitcher for the Bedrock Dodgers. How about it? 
Oh, I'm sorry. I don't follow football. What's a relief pitcher? Baseball, Mrs. Flintstone. Oh, oh well, I don't follow baseball either. Mrs. Flintstone, if you can throw a baseball like you threw that melon, we'll pay you 1,000 clams a game, plus a 5,000 clam bonus at the end of the season. Oh, my, that's a lot of money. I'll have to talk it over with my husband first. Of course. And if he agrees, be at the stadium tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Oh, I'm sure he'll say yes. No, no, absolutely not, Wilma. A woman's place is in a home. You gotta take care of pebbles and cook and clean house and do the shopping. <laughs> but Fred... Don't but Fred me. In fact, yesterday I got a ticket from a lady cop. If she was home where she was supposed to be, I wouldn't have got that ticket. But Fred, Mr. Finrock is going to pay me a thousand clams a game. I don't care if he pays... A thousand clams a game? Plus a five thousand clam bonus. A five, five thousand clam bonus? Isn't that nice? <sighs> Oh, Fred, I have to leave now. Eh? Huh? Pebbles, what are you doing here? I'm going, to go. I'm going to the stadium, Fred. Stadium? What stadium? The baseball stadium, remember? 5,000 clams. Oh, yeah. Now, don't forget, Pebbles' diapers need changing, breakfast is on the stove, and Dino hasn't been fed. But this is my day off, Wilma. I was going to play golf with Bonnie. I know, Fred, and you're a dear to help me out. Don't worry, Pebbles. There's no way a woman can pitch in the big leagues. Wilma will be home before lunch. Mrs. Flintstone, face this way, towards the catcher. Oh, there you are. What do you want me to do with this ball, Mr. Lachelle? Just throw it into the catcher's glove. Oh, is that all? Uh, uh, where's the catcher's glove? I think I'll kill myself. Hold your glove up, Rocky. This is the catcher's glove, Mrs. Flintstone. Oh, I see it. Stay right! She's a gold mine, Tommy. If she can pitch like that consistently, we're in business! Stay right! Was that all right, Mr. Finrod? Pin perfect pitches is better than all right. It's fantastic! You're another Don Dry Rock! Now all you gotta do is sign on the dotted line, and we'll all be rich. Well, maybe I ought to talk it over with my husband first. Oh, your husband will love it. Especially the 5,000 clams. You're right. Congratulations, Mrs. Flintstone. You know, Bon, I'm really worried. If Wilma gets that pitching job, I'll be doing so much babysitting and cooking and housekeeping, I'll never have time to play golf. <laughs> hey, I'm worried too, Fred. I'll never find a golfing partner who loses as much as you. <laughs> <laughs> very funny, very funny. Yeah, I thought so too. Hello, Mr. Flintstone. May I speak with you? Hey, Bon, it's our new neighbor, Frank Frankenstone. Oh, uh, 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 hiya, Frankie. Well, pal, what can I do for you? Oblivia and I have a few errands to run, and we wondered if you'd mind looking after the little ones for a short while. Why, certainly, Frank. What are neighbors for except to be neighborly? <laughs> oh, Frankenstub. Oh, Hidia. Coming, Daddy. How can you say no to a guy seven feet tall with bolts in his neck? Don't be a bother now, kitty. We won't, Daddy. Hi, Mr. Flintstone. Hi, Mr. Rubble. Oh, hiya, hi, kids. kids. Down, boy, down. Will you take it easy, creepy rats? Heel, heel, sit down.
Come on, Bond, we gotta stop them before they rape pebbles. <laughs> Oh, Fred, I'm home. I did it, I did it. I'm the new relief pitcher for the Bedrock Dodgers. Congratulations, Wilma. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> What's the matter with Fred? He had to babysit the Frankenstone kids. And creepy chased Dino into the house. <laughs> oh, poor dear. Fred? Fred, if everything works out, we can afford a maid and a cook, and you won't have to do anything. <laughs> Did you hear that, Betty? You better start practicing your pitching. <laughs> Mr. Finrock said I should get a good night's sleep for the big game tomorrow. What big game? Against the Lava Town Graveliers, and I'm so nervous. I just know I won't sleep a wink all night. We gotta run, Wilma. Barney's got a golf game first thing in the morning. Yeah, so long, Fred. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, see you tomorrow. Wilma? Won't sleep a wink all night, huh? Oh, boy. You know, guys, I have the sinking feeling that our lives are in for a big change. 5,000 clams or not, it ain't worth it. Right? Right! We gotta think of a way to get Wilma back home where she belongs. Right? Right! I got it! If Wilma doesn't get enough sleep tonight, then she'll be too tired to play tomorrow. Right? Right! Right! Talk about sleeping like a rock. She. <laughs> Looks like I'll have to go right for the maternal jugular. Okay, Pebbles, hit it. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, Pebbles, it didn't work. You can stop crying now. <laughs> yeah, I gotta think of something else. get a night owl for this job. Boy, two o'clock in the morning and I tried everything. Well, guess I'll have to pull out all the stops. Dino, come here, boy. Wanna sleep in a big bed tonight? Who, me? Yep, you. Sleep tight, Dino. so early. Oh, the kitchen faucet is dripping and it woke me up. The faucet was dripping? Yes, you know what a light sleeper I am. <laughs> Wake up, Fred. I have to be at the stadium early and Pebbles needs to be fed. Fred? <laughs> How do I look, Fred? I like you better in an apron. Oh, don't be silly, Fred. Who ever heard of a baseball player wearing an apron? Mwah. Don't forget to watch the game on TV. Okay, Wilma. Ninth inning, folks, and amazingly enough, the Bedrock Dodgers are actually beating the Lava Town Travelers 3-2. But they're in deep trouble now, with the bases loaded and two outs. Manager Tommy Lachelle has pulled his starting pitcher, and the crowd.
crowd is waiting anxiously to see who the replacement will be. The crowd goes wild as wind up Wilma goes to the mound. This is the moment the fans have been waiting for. This is history in the making, ladies and gentlemen. But wait, look who's coming to the plate. It's the toughest, meanest, ugliest, strongest hitter of all. A player who has never been struck out. Man Mountain Mean. Good luck, Wilma. Just a minute, lady. I need a new bat. Rot. That's more like it. Oh, my. Come on, lady. Play ball. Yes, sir. Yoo-ho, Wilma. Get a touchdown for me. Oh, hi, Betty. How do I look in my new uniform? Darling, just darling. Oh, boy. How do I look in my new uniform? It's your Ray! Win! And away, Wilma, strike the bum out! Hey, Fred, I thought you wanted Wilma to lose. Oh, yeah, that's right. Knock the next one out of the ballpark, Mean. We want Wilma back home. You were lucky, lady. But I'll be ready this time. Wind up, Wilma, get set. She winds up, and here's the pitch. What the? Hooray! Team! That away, Wilma! Two down, one to go! Touchdown! Touchdown! This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The 0-2 pitch to Man Mountain Mean. Struck him out. The Bedrock Dodgers win it. 3 2. Mrs. Flintstone, how does it feel to be an overnight celebrity? Well, it's wonderful. This is the biggest thrill of my life. Hey, fans, you're stepping on my foot. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Flintstone's husband. Mrs. Flintstone's husband? My name is Fred Flintstone, pal. F-R-E-D, Fred. You got that? Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to be a celebrity's husband. How about another demonstration of your famous wind-up for our television viewers? <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. Oh, come on. You wouldn't want to disappoint your fans, would you? No, I suppose not. Oh, poor Fred. He's taking this hard. All I do is... The... Ouch! What's wrong? Oh, my arm. There's a terrible pain in my arm. What? We better get you to a hospital. No, no, no. I'll have my husband take me. Boy, it's a good thing Pebbles is asleep. She'd be worried if she knew Wilma was in the hospital. Dino, when I need a shadow, I'll call you. Hi, Fred. Wilma. <laughs> Are you all right? Yes, Fred. The doctor says I have a severe case of pitcher's elbow and that I probably won't be able to pitch again. I hope you're not too disappointed. Disappointed? Are you kidding, Wilma? Me and Pebbles are glad to have you back. Mama! Mama! <laughs> and so is Dino. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks, Dino. Come on, let's go home. I'm starved. Stop at the supermarket, Fred, and we'll get you a snack. Boy, I can't wait to sink my teeth into one of those thick, juicy brontosaurus steaks smothered with mushrooms. Stop, thief, stop. Call the police. we just been robbed. Hold it, buddy. I got a black belt in karate. Yeah. Well, I got two of them, buddy. A ball, but Great shot, Wilma. Your pitch. 
scratching arm. What, what? Your pitch's elbow suddenly got better, eh? Oh. <laughs> oh, I guess I forgot about the pain and all the excitement. There's nothing wrong with your elbow, is there, Wilma? Well, actually, Fred, no. You mean you sacrificed your career for us? Yes, Fred. I'd rather have you and Pebbles in a career any day. Wilma, you're the greatest. And who clobbered this crook? Oh, uh, uh, that lady over there, she hit him with a melon. Oh, boy, she got a great arm. Let's get out of here, Fred. You sent it, Wilma. Come on. Yabba -dabba -dee. Ronald McDonald in Dreamy Breakfast. It's a good time to see Ronald's dream. Time for breakfast, Bertie. Oh, boy, hotcakes. Hoppin' make hotcakes. After him, Bertie. You betcha. <laughs> what? What? Whoops. Gotcha. It's a good time. Ronald's dream's at an end. It's a good time. Breakfast fun with a friend. It's a good time for the great day. A dream come true. Hot <laughs> McDonald's. Goldilocks may not have known it, but she was really looking for the Four Bears Water Park in Utica, Michigan. She'd flip over the big 50-foot water slide, and so will you. And those exciting bumper boats, the Can-Am miniature race cars, the big 56-acre lake with nifty paddle boats, white sandy beaches, private picnic area, or if you prefer, the Honey Bear Restaurant. The Four Bears Water Park, Auburn Road between Ryan and DeQuinder in Utica. 10 to 10 Sunday through Thursday, 10 to 11 Friday and Saturday. The Four Bears, the best water park afloat. Ask Goldilocks. Closing in on us. Yeah, and the whole room on our matter is right behind. We've only one chance for escape. Turret, prepare for space-time energy projection. But the step is damaged. We may not have the power to make it. Turret, activate the step now. No use, Questar. I'm giving it all she's got. The Valorian starship is going to Gamma Acceleration, Lord Kuno. <laughs> the Valorians are still within range. Don't let them escape. Engage tractor beam now. Tractor beam has locked on to us. We're getting a power surge. We may just make it. They're draining our energy. We're losing power. Disengage tractor beam. Not bad, 
for a crash landing. <laughs> Is everyone all right? There appear to be no injuries. Our sensors are still down. There's no telling what's outside. We'll have to check it out. Prepare to exit. Where are we, Questar? Another world. A primitive world by the looks of it. One untouched by Krulos' destruction. Oh, it's so beautiful, Grandfather. I wish you could see it. I can imagine it, Serena. I sense we are not alone here. Wow! Look, over there! Those look like dinosaurs! They certainly do. And if those are dinosaurs, then this must be prehistoric Earth. Dinosaurs! What are we waiting for? Let's do some exploring! Come on, lad. Gunner, bring everyone out. But keep close to the ship. Don't frighten it, young star. We mean you no harm, my huge friend. Valorians, welcome to Earth, our new home! Dreadlock to ruling Armada! Axa! Spent two days now with no response! Impossible! My forces are everywhere! Unidentified beings heading this way! The Valorians! I want them destroyed! Dinosaurs everywhere! We've been dragged through time! Questar has done this to me. His space-time energy projector. I must have it to return to my empire. But how will we get the step, Great Krulos? The Valorians must be destroyed. Rasp, assemble a hunting party. Hammerhead, prepare the lava caves for brainboxing. I will build an army of dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Seemed a good plan, too. Do not grow too bold, Rasp. <laughs> of course not, Lord Krulos. Come on, young star. Let's race. You're on, little buddy. <gasps> Tyrannosaurus Rex. And he's heading this way. Go back to the ship. What are you going to do? Don't worry about me, Pipsqueak. I'll go. Questar! Questar! A Tyrannosaurus Rex is attacking! Youngstar's trying to stop him! Gunner, Serena, come with me! Don't suppose you can fly?
My friends, we need your help. Save the celebrating for later. Yeah! Oh, you can run, Questar, but with that beast under my control, you are finished, destroyed at last. <laughs> Another Tycho Superblocks adventure. You've got to capture the enemy command post. Looks like a job for Tycho Superblocks. You have to strike hard, so you build the combat tank. Bob Half-Track, the Mauler, and the Rocket Launcher. You send in your fast attack vehicle, then the attack chopper for support. You break through, you've won, and you've done it. Another great adventure with Superblocks. They work with LEGO, too. Tycho Superblocks, military adventure series, 10 building sets, each sold separately. New from Tycho. The only thing more exciting than Turbo Hopper is Aero Turbo Hopper. The hottest off-road action you've ever seen. It leaps into the air because it's radio controlled go anywhere. Do anything. Fun and speed. Yahoo! Over rocks and through the mud. Real turbo racing action. You just hit the turbo power to make the pass and win. Aero Turbo Hopper and Turbo Hopper. Only from Tyco RC. As you commanded, Lord Kulos, the beasts are fully equipped and ready for testing. Begin! Saddle lasers, laser side guns, and rocket thrusters all functioning as expected. It's not enough. I must have the mightiest of all, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Easy now, fellas. Easy there. Easy. Wow! Oh, you crazy lizard! What you doing? Hey, Gunner. Long way down. Want to lift? Land. Dinosaurs. Ha. Machines I can handle. But those big bruises are too blasted unpredictable. You've just got to have what it takes. Turret, how long before you finish the wall? Shouldn't take more than a few hours, Questar. Good. Once this wall is complete, Tyrannosaurus Rex won't have a side door to the valley. Laser fire? Outside the valley? But who? We'd better find out. Yeah! Vipers? Here on Earth? Questar, how is that possible? The last reading I had on any Rulons was back in the future. They were pulled through on the tractor beam. Gunner, can you two follow them? <laughs> the day I can't track a few scared Vipers is the day I retire. <laughs> Run 
Tyrannosaurus Rex. Disappoints me today. He won't live to disappoint me tomorrow. Another Tycho Superblocks adventure. The dam has broken. The road's out. The town's in danger. So you grab your Tycho Superblocks and quickly build a bulldozer, a backhoe, a dump truck, a giant cranes, and a construction copter. Rushing to the scene, you clear the road. You've saved the town. You did it. Another great adventure with Tycho Superblocks. They work with Lego, too. Tycho Superblocks. Road Builder Adventure Series. Nine building sets, each sold separately. New only from Tycho. They're here. Zero gravity cliffhangers. Cause you race them upside down. Plummeting through the giant loop as you reach for new speeds and use your skill to master the death-defying spiral and blast up the wall to zero gravity. And then back into the giant loop. You make your final move now to take the lead and win. Zero gravity cliffhangers. It's all in how you look at it. New from Tyco, of course. Krulos will use the woods for cover when he attacks. Here and here. The monocloni are positioned to counterattack across here. Serena? We're as ready as we'll ever be. Boy, are they in for a surprise. Don't underestimate Krulos. He's beaten us before. He won't this time. I'm checking on Gunner. Nervous, young star? Nah, it's the waiting that gets to me. I wish I could fight the Rulons. Lad, your mission is important. You must go now. Everything set, Gunner? Yep. All this Diplodocus and I need is a Rulon regiment to play with. I have a feeling it won't be long. I can't wait to deal with Krulos on even terms. Look at them, the fools. They plant crops while we prepare for war. It could be a trap. Whatever their plan, they cannot beat me. I will destroy them, and their step will return me to my empire. Ah! Attack! Up. Quickly! some real flying. Dive, Don. Rat! 
It's time you were grounded, Valorian! Permanently! in the hands of Rulons. Out of my way, blind man. Your sight is of little use to you now. Now, the crystal. Where is it? You'll never get it, Rulon. Forget ever returning to the future. The Rulon Empire is finished! Come on!
has the power. Dino Riders. The evil Rulon shackled the Dinonychus. Greybox saw an attack. They're sitting ducks. Heroic quest star on Diplodocus opens the secret pod. They're firing on me. Look out for the trap. Take this, Ed. The hidden rockets blast the evil Rulon. We'll meet again, quest star. Diplodocus with motorized walking action. Dinonychus and Pteranodon. With figures and battle gear, each sold separately. Dino Riders. Gleaming in the morning light, home of Shira shining bright. Crystal Castle. You put it together, she whistles separately. You can pretend. Magic things shine everywhere, cause it has a secret power. Lifted high on her throne, Shira saves the world alone. The fate of the world safe in Crystal Castle. Princess of Power. Crystal Castle comes with everything you see here. Shira dolls sold separately. New from Mattel. Ronald McDonald and the Curious Snowman. On a hot summer day, a snowman came out to play to find out what made summer fun. It's skating along. Without any ice? It's playing ball. And getting hot, that's not nice. So Ronald made a magic place where snowmen could stay. I wouldn't want my little friend to melt away. We'll visit you in winter, and then we can play. It's a good time for the great taste of McDonald's. Next Saturday morning, there's something brewing. Ichiwawa. And it's turning up some big surprises. Come on, there's no time to lose. The Ewoks are coming. Then... Oh, too deep. what are you doing? Ah. Oh, mad droid, mad droid. The news is out and everyone's excited. <laughs> Droids are with us. And then something old and something new waiting just for you. Right? It's the 13 ghosts of Scooby-Doo, and the Littles are traveling around the world. We're coming in for a landing. Join them for exotic adventures. Next Saturday morning on ABC, it's the Ewoks and Droids, the 13 ghosts of Scooby-Doo, and the Littles. You'll love it. This is Billy Batson, star reporter for station WIZZ-TV. He has been picked by the aged wizard Shazam to carry on the wizard's lifelong crusade against crime and the forces of evil. When Billy speaks the wizard's name, Shazam! Billy becomes Captain Marvel, mighty champion, combining the wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. Billy's twin sister, Mary Batson, has also been granted special powers. When she speaks the name... Shazam! Mary Batson becomes Mary Marvel, blending the grace of Selena with the best qualities of other goddesses, whose names combined form the word Shazam! The third member of the mighty trio is their friend, lame newsboy Freddie Freeman when he speaks the name of his idol, Captain Marvel! Freddy becomes the powerful Captain Marvel Jr. Together, they are the mighty Marvel, dedicated to fighting the forces of evil throughout the universe. And now, for my final trick. Uncle Dudley, magician's convention. We're gonna be late for the plane. We'll have to fly to the airport. Did you say fly? That's okay, Uncle Dudley. We'll give you a lift. Ready, everybody? Shazam! Shazam! Captain Marvel! <laughs> Keep an eye on Mary, Uncle Dudley. <laughs> Don't let anyone saw her in half or change her into a rabbit. If I talk to the other magicians, it'll be to learn a trick for shrinking swelled heads. Now, now, if there's any trouble, I'll just become Uncle Marvel. And watch out, Dr. Sivana. <laughs> Ha, 
<laughs> I'll get you soon, you big red cheese. I'll show them. This time I'll pick them off one by one with my new shrinking ray. <laughs> Now we'll see who's the rightful ruler of the universe! Oh no! It's a tornado! It's fun having someone else do the flying for a change. What on earth is that? All passengers, please fasten your seatbelts. That doesn't look like any tornado I ever saw. Maybe I ought to change into... Are you all right, my dear? Who? What? Good heavens, we've landed somewhere. Come on, this situation may call for the marvels. Marvels? Who are they? I don't believe it. Excuse me, sir, but who are you? I... I can't seem to remember anything. Mary, for goodness sake, say Shazam! Shazam? Oh no, it doesn't work here! I am Magna. Welcome to my collection. Holy moly! Flight 601 disappeared in a freak tornado. That's the plane Mary and Uncle Dudley were on. We'd better get moving. Shazam! Captain Marvel! see where the tornado went. Let's go down and take a look. There's something funny about this. There sure is. Tornadoes don't just stop short like that. No, unless they go into another dimension. You mean a time warp? Exactly. Now, let's make our own tornado. Pile on all the speed you can. We have to go faster than the speed of light. You mean? That's right. I think Mary and Uncle Dudley were swept into a fourth dimension. Billy, the fourth dimension lightning must have transformed us back. Well, no harm done. I'll just say Shazam! Shazam! Uh, Captain Marvel! My gosh, Billy. It looks like our powers don't work in the fourth dimension. Let's make tracks. You can try rolling this cell for a while. <laughs> Sivana. Ha <laughs> 
You can't set him free. That's Dr. Savannah, the maddest scientist in the world. This funny little man? Nonsense. You fat fool. You should know better than to oppose me. And that goes for you too, Mary Marble. It's true then. You evil little worm. If you try to harm this girl, you're what? In one moment, you're going to be tinier than an egg. Oh, no! I forgot everything is reverse here. Goodness gracious. Wonderful! I almost forgot in the fourth dimension, the laws of nature are topsy-turvy. The fourth dimension? <laughs> Mary, Mary, wake up! <laughs> Mary, Mary, wake up! Wake up! Uncle Dudley! Mary, thank goodness you got your memory back. Now, if we only knew how to contact your brother. We seem to have lost that laser beast. I don't mind telling you, I've had enough of this place. If only we could just say, Shazam, darn this fourth dimension. Oh, no! For gosh sakes! <laughs> well, well, I think I may just take all my vacations here. <laughs> this must be my lucky day. Billy Batson and Freddie Freeman! Fancy meeting you here! <laughs> You'd better let go of us, Savannah. What for? This is the most fun I've had in ages! <laughs> what are you doing here? Well? My name is Dr. Savannah, my dear. And who might you be? I am Magna. And I'm in charge here. Of course you are. I just thought I'd help you out by catching these two troublemakers. Two new dolls? Can I have them? Dolls? Now there's just enough for a game. Billy! Freddy! Mary! Uncle Dudley! A game? What a lovely idea! Let's talk it over! <laughs> Magna may be as big as a skyscraper, but she acts just like a little girl. I know some big girls who still sleep with their teddy bears. Billy Batson, you just wait till we... What I'd like to know is what kind of game Dr. Savannah's dreaming up for us. No, no, no reason to let ourselves get gloomy. That's right. We have to keep our spirits up if we're going to escape. Do a trick for us, Uncle Dudley. Hooray for the magnificent Dudley! Ladies and gentlemen, nothing up my sleeves. And yet, if I say the magic words Alakazam and Arresto... Red Zooks! Wow, that's some trick. I, I think you'd better stop, Uncle Dudley. By George, I have an idea. Alakazam and Alagaru, iron bars, uh, a shoe. <laughs> Hooray for Uncle Dudley! My gosh, what's that? Uh-oh, the laser beast has returned, and the magic word Shazam still does not work. Are the marbles doomed? We'll soon find out. Unable to become the marbles, our heroes face the ferocious laser beast without their superpowers. There's only one hope left. Uncle Dudley. We need a magic trick. 
the joy buzzer, the, the rubber chicken. The, the, ah! My squirt flower. Hurry, Uncle Dudley. Here goes. <laughs> Everything in the fourth dimension is backwards. Freddy, say Captain Marvel backwards. Levram Neat Pack. What? It's our turn, Mary. Say Shazam backwards. Mazaz! Now, let's go find Savannah and his playmate and see if we can join their game. Where are your mother and father? They're still asleep. Help! Let me out! And where did you get these lovely dolls, my dear? You won't tell on me, will you? Of course not, my child. Just tell me. It's my daddy's dimensional transporter. It can bring anything from anywhere. Anything? Jewels? Gold? Who wants that boring stuff? Let's have a race with a lizard man and a laser beast. I have a better idea. Why don't you open all the cages at once and see what happens? Oh boy, I'll get all the cages from outside too. And meanwhile, I'll play with the dimensional transporter. <laughs> Come on, you guys. We better do something before Magnus starts opening those cages. <laughs> I think I'll start with Fort Knox. And before Savannah figures out how to start that machine, <clears throat> Our size may be a slight disadvantage, but I think I know where we can get some help. Follow me. In there. Eureka! Magnus parents. Uncle Dudley, you're a genius. Once we wake them up, they'll take care of Magna and Savannah. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Let's hope this works. Think you'd better get your slippers on, sir, and come with us. Who shall we let out first? Earth people or lizard men? Be quiet. <laughs> Our game, you promised. At last! <laughs> Magna, you naughty child. What did I tell you about playing with that transporter? <laughs> and who are you, sir? Dr. Sivana, rightful ruler of the universe. And you're too late! No, no, you don't. Curses! 
That will be enough from you. This is all your fault, you big red cheese. <laughs> That sounds like a good idea. Of course, I'm going to have to send all these people back to wherever they came from. But since you were kind enough to offer to play with Magna, you can stay and play with her for a while. I'll get you yet, you big red cheese! <laughs> So ends another adventure with the mighty Marvel. You won't want to miss the next exciting adventure with star reporter Billy Batson, his sister Mary, their friend Freddie Freeman, lovable Uncle Dudley, and that amazing talking tiger, Mr. Tawny. <laughs> Computers are coming your way. Computers? For paying bills. Mothers, too. Bah humbug. Wow. Let me try it. Hacker, I thought joysticks are only for computer games. A computer can get input through a joystick to write music or draw pictures, as well as play games. Totally awesome. But there are lots of other ways to tell computers what to do. Like the mouse? Right. It's an input device. The mouse is an easier way to move the cursor. You can use it to make pictures and some graphic programs, or move words around if you're using a word processor. Neat ho. Some computers have special screens that are sensitive to your touch. Choose an item from the list and touch your choice. The computer serves up what you ordered. Is that why they call the list a menu? Sharp thinking, Tabby. The keyboard is the most often used input device, but there are lots of others, even the light pen. It lets you draw on the screen and add color. Wow, that's pretty. We're, We're the, the computer, computer generation. generation. You can take a bite, take an alphabet's bite. You can taste a bunch of letters that go crunch. Alphabets, all right. But take care, there's a mad microchip out to get you over there. He's flipped. Hip. You can sip that drip when you bite the word chip. You can take a bite. Bite a C. You can take a bite. Bite an H. Bite an I. You can take a bite. Bite a P. If you want to start the day with the breakfast you can play. You can take a bite of post alphabet cereal. Part of this nutritious breakfast. It's yummy. Ronald McDonald in Way Out Desserts. Up on the planet a lot, where it's always hot, kids didn't have cool desserts. That hurts, but McDonald's desserts are so cool and so neat, even up here there'll be a delicious treat. The kids love them all. Shake sundaes and cones. Ronald brought lots to share. Andy found kids are the same everywhere. It's a good time for the great day. In 2086, two peaceful aliens journeyed to Earth, seeking our help. In return, they gave us the plans for our first hyperdrive, allowing mankind to open the doors to the stars. We have assembled a team of unique individuals to protect Earth and our allies. Courageous pioneers committed to the highest ideals of justice and dedicated to preserving law and order across the new frontier. These are the adventures of the Galaxy Rangers.
found your Grana Tower? Well, here we are, Planet Grana. Wow, thousands of square miles of super wheat. Let's hope kiwi vegetables take to the soil as well. Yeah, I remember a kiwi strawberry the size of a basketball. Tasted like it had been through a hoop a million times. Our experiments have come a long way since then. Yeah? Well, I remember Planet Floco, too. Well, Nico, all our tests have shown very little gene displacement so far. The wheat clones are holding up just fine. And today's the first day of the harvest, too. That's good news. Yep, that's a big party day for us. I haven't been to a party in Young's. Yep, no Floco. Floco? What's that? You haven't heard about the planet Floco on this side of the frontier, then? <laughs> I guess I'm glad. <laughs> that was wild. The kiwi vegetables mutated into flying plants. Ha ha ha! Ooh-wee! That's a good one, Goosel Roy. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Shane. And I thought I could live that one down. <laughs> hey! That ain't funny. What happened? <laughs> the plant slipped into a bacterial mutation. So we seeded some clouds and got some good rains going. <laughs> <laughs> it smelled so bad that I stayed in the spaceship behind good airlocks. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, you're killing me! Cheer up, Arnold. You do realize this is purely a survey mission. Uh, yeah. Well, now, Ambassador Zozo, I'd like to see your printouts on these new kiwi vegetables. You needn't worry. All the new vegetables have been completely redesigned. All this wheat. They'll be feeding all the exploration groups this side of the League of Planets. Ah, yes. I think our new dwarf bung plant will grow very well here. Survey sector A2 has prime soil conditions. All right with you, Zozo? All looks good to me. Let's do it. This thumper will use echo studies to complete an underground survey map. The heavy soundings will give us essential soil data. Okay, I'm starting this puppy up. Hey guys, it's party time! Yeah! Scarecrow? Gosh, no. On harvest night, one just like this, when the folks are all having a big party, out in the fields, under the full moon, the scarecrow starts a twitching. It comes to life and climbs down from its pole. Johnny, what does it want? The graveyard, of course. <laughs> What does it want in the graveyard, Johnny? It wants to see if there's anybody freshly buried. Yeah, and what if there is? Then it digs it up and brings it back to life again. Ew, that's creepy. What if there isn't anybody freshly buried? Then it goes on into the town to get somebody still living. What does it want them for, Johnny? Well, that's the scary part! <laughs> because nobody knows. Now that's enough of that scary nonsense, Johnny. Oh, you want to hear more!
imagine the kind of fun the Galaxy Rangers get into? Now that's my idea of police work. Yeah. Who's out here in this stall? Hey, mister, you need help? What in the world? Hey, you can't do that! Get away from me! Okay, superhero, the fun's over. Oh, Johnny, don't be so jealous. Come on, let's take a walk, Norma. But it's raining, Johnny. I'm so pretty. You will be mine. <laughs> no one but Shane Gooseman shall ride me. Good, a challenge I like that. Now feel my will. So, what is the name of your girlfriend, Goose? Girlfriend? Come on, Shane. I was watching you. She is very pretty. She already has a date, and so do I. Triton! <laughs> Nico, Zozo, let's move! Hey! That's my Jeep! Move it or lose it, Kimball. What was that thing? Quiet. Nico, can you spot anything? Negative. Visibility about zero. This is the strangest thing. I've never seen such a heavy fog. I don't know how he's keeping Triton under control. That horse is programmed to let only me ride him. He's heading into Misty Bogs. Hang on. We can't go in there. Come on, Mel. You can catch him. Right. He's usually faster than I, but he's not running well tonight. Him in the misty bogs. Shh! I think I hear something. That dirt bag's taken Triton. Some of the bogs are ten feet deep. Shh, you guys, listen. Triton! 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 Sozo, throw me a line. That thing will regret taking my horse. There it is. He's coming, Nico. Right.
How's Johnny? The docs say he'll pull through. You look pretty as ever. Thank you, Zozo. Can you remember anything more? I remember Triton glowing as if he was carrying some kind of electric charge. And then I got hit. And then I don't remember anything more. I'm sorry, Goose, but I don't. It's weird. People said they saw the chief officer of Hodan police riding Triton. And today they found the chief and his assistant out on the highway. The thumper was destroyed as well. Nobody but me can ride Triton. He wouldn't let them. Well, this someone did, and we've got to find him. You're staying put. I'm going back out. I'll take Mel. Be careful, Shane. Funny thing about lying in the ground for a hundred million years, you store up the urge to talk. <laughs> ha! That's easy for you to say. What do you call this stuff? Why, that's my best coffee, Officer Boksh. Hmm. And what's this food called? Them's eggs and hash browns with bacon and mushrooms, of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, this needs a little something. Don't you think Officer Boksh is acting peculiar? <laughs> what have you got in the cupboard? Huh? But Officer Boksh, that's not people food. <laughs> my, oh my, oh my. Maybe so, but it tastes great. What's the plan, Goose? Okay, Mel. Try and pick up on Triton's beta field. It should be showing if he's powered up. Initiating scan now. We'll cover the fields on this side of the highway first. What do you think we're looking for? I don't know, Zozo. We don't know what we're dealing with. Anyone who can make Triton carry him must have some powerful weapons. Easy, babe. 
Sleep now. <laughs> My sensors show that Triton is being controlled by an alien power field of some unknown type. I was right. That is how he's riding Triton. <laughs> Come on, Mel. Faster. I will try, but Triton is a Model 6 racing chassis. I detect very strange power fields. You don't say. What do you want? Where did he go? Who? The Scarecrow. He was just ahead of me. Why don't you look in the barn? Flux is overloaded. The time has come. You must be your best with a gun, Galaxy Ranger. You're gonna have to try me, Scarecrow. Scarecrow, haha! I like that. I will take that for my name in this new life. <laughs> We'll see you him, at least. I wouldn't bet on it. This is Granite Tower Ranger 1. You are fueled and cleared for takeoff. Thanks for everything, Galaxy Rangers. Y'all come back now, yeah? completely different kind of life form. So alien, we could never imagine what kind of world it came from. More powerful than mutated kiwi vegetables?
The work on my station Earth is going well, oh mighty Emperor. But much too slowly, Akta. My plans to conquer planet Earth cannot proceed until the base is completed. Order all activities accelerated. What is this interruption? A fleet of ships approaching Earth, sire. I do not recognize them. Octon, break into their code and find out who they are. At once, sire. Hey, maybe Dynac X can help us find a place for our new headquarters. Yeah, Mandrake's Mansion is a swell place to throw a party. Ships are headed for that building. We're sitting ducks down here, unless... Target sighted and... <sighs> it's moving! Mandrake's Mansion Moving Company, at your service. Robo-ships at two o'clock, Flash. Roger, Lothar. Thanks. Come on, blast them, Flash! Show them what the Defenders can do! Please, Kashin. We're trying to concentrate. Sure. Come on, Zuffy. Find a place where you can stay out of trouble. Kashin! He'll be okay, my friend. I imagine it might be easier to deal with Ming than to understand young people. Zaphoid captured, alive! Alive, mighty men! With the boy as my hostage, Flash Gordon will walk right into my hands. And Once the crown is finished, it will rise on the shafts through the opening in the crater, the final stage of construction. Something is wrong, Jeddah. Are you not happy with our new home? Oh, Father, I have no desire to live here. Our home is with the jungle beasts of Africa. But we must stay here with the others to help defend the Earth. I can't allow you to return to Africa alone. I am only concerned for your welfare. I know that, Father. That's what makes it so difficult. <laughs> 